The first rule is make rules that help learning. It is the educator's job to enable students to learn. So rules need to deter behavior that doesn't help learning, such as sleeping in class. The second rule is identify past problem areas. When deciding what rules should be used in class, think of areas you've had trouble with in the past. For example, if students are talking on cell phones, make a rule of no cell phones in class. The third rule is every rule doesn't have to be negative. The classroom is full of do's and don'ts, not just don'ts. Encourage them to do positive things and stay away from the negative. So encourage the students to make mistakes and to have fun. The fourth rule is don't make rules that won't be enforced. Nothing is worse when students realize that a rule has no power. If one of them will not be enforced, then they believe the rest will not be enforced. The fifth rule is list the consequences. Let the students know what happens when they break the rules. Always be prepared to enforce the rules. If a student brings a cell phone to class and the consequence is calling the parents, then call the parents. We have much more information on rules, such as why they are important, student age, displaying rules, and much more. Come on over to tesselclass.com and find out more today.